Hey guys, this is Luis Moreno with Simply Health Insurance Agency. Now, today I just got a call from an insured and uh, this insured's making some decent income. The, uh, she is on Medicare and her husband is going through cancer, stage four stomach cancer, and uh, she doesn't have insurance for him and he doesn't qualify for Medicare. So um, we, uh, I'm gonna show you what I did for them and this is why an agent needs to know what they're doing, but also as an insured, why selecting the least expensive plan is it's just it's really not that easy. You've really got to spend some time and look at all the different options. So check out what I did here. All right. So here is a scenario. OK, so there's their this is their zip code. This is the, the date of birth, 10, 21, 59. Um, it is a household of two. And they're making about $65,000 a year, okay? Now, the options, first of all, what we did is we went, uh, we went straight to silver plants. We started off with silver, okay? That's usually what I default to, okay? I try to stay away from bronze. Uh, they are less expensive, but usually the coverage is, uh, uh, their out-of-pockets are huge before they have to, uh, before anything kicks in. But there, unless you do an expanded bronze, but we went straight to the bronze. Uh, I'm sorry, straight to the silver plants. So here I am on silvers and we started filtering out these plants. Now they could have very easily just chosen this first plan here. Okay. It's the least expensive silver plant. Well, well, is it good? Is it bad? Well, you got to do a little work. First thing we did is we found out who their oncologist was. Okay. And that's how I started narrowing the plants down. So you have to ask them what doctors are seeing and what medications they're taking. Okay. Medications. Um, you know, well, first of all, we sorted these plans out by using the doctor. So I went, you, you literally, all you do is you click on doctors and you type in the zip code up here. You'll put your change the location and you'll search by doctor's name and you type the name of the doctor. It's that simple. Well, in this scenario, type the name of the doctor, the oncologist who is currently treating this insured. And this insured was like, I don't want to leave this doctor. He's, he's saving me. And uh, so with Friday Health, unfortunately, the least expensive plan, the doctor was not in network. Okay. Um, so assuming he was, you, well, which of these two plans? Well, you got to pay attention. Okay. Uh, on this plan right here, um, you'll see that the specialist is 20%, but after they spent 5,500 bucks over here, it's a straight up $80. So you got to pay attention to the plants. So we went down, we looked at United Healthcare. Unfortunately, same scenario here. The doctor wasn't in network. Um, with Ambetter, Ambetter has two different networks, this value network and then their regular network that we've had for many, many years. Well, in this scenario, Doctor wasn't in either one of them. The value network is a very narrow network. Just because they were on Ambetter last year does not mean that a doctor is going to be with the Ambetter value. So you have to check the provider directory. Okay. So we just kept filtering, filtering. Finally, just to make this video a little shorter, we landed on Oscar. Oscar was the only plan that this oncologist took. Okay, so we're rocking. Now, we started going through some of the benefits here. Okay, so I focused here on the specialist because they were seeing the specialist uh, quite a bit and their premium was 547. Okay, deductible 6450, out of pocket max 87. Okay, currently right now with the plan that they're paying, I believe she had a $15,000 deductible and they were spending over $800 a month. OK, so we had that much money to play with. So I told her, OK, guys, a couple of things here. Well, doctors are free, but they're only free if they're virtual. OK, a little deceiving here, guys. You got to click on the benefits. It'll load here in a minute. But doctors are 40, specialists are 40, generic drugs are free. How did I know that doctors were, were 40? When you pull up the summary of benefits, OK, which you should be doing on any plan that you're recommending, you'll see here that if it is a telemedicine visit, it's no charge. 
If it is a doctor that's in the network, it's a $40 copay. Okay. Not a big deal, but, but you also, it's a, it's a, it could be a big deal because you tell some of these people, well, to go see a doctor, it's free or primary care doctor, and then they get charged 40. Well, they're not going to be happy in shirts. Okay. So we were rocking and rolling on this one. If you were an insured, you'd probably be like, hey, this is probably the best plan. Well, is it really? Okay. Let's go down to gold. Okay. Remember, we were 547. So we went to a gold plan and look at the options on the gold. Okay. For a few more dollars, she was at 547, 554, $7 more. Look what we did. We got a lower deductible. We got a lower out of pocket maximum. Of course, doctors are free, but then of course, click on the benefits so you can, you can catch it specifically. Okay. Okay. Um, specialist or 40 generic drugs are free. Okay. So let's go see here in the summary of benefits. Well, there we go again. Telemedicine is zero. Primary docs are 40. Specialist are 40. Um, but comparing these now side to side, this is a number that I'm really comparing with my insured. A $6,400 deductible with a total of $8,700. On the gold plan, I'm at $3,500 with a $6,000 out of pocket. Well, guys, for $7 more, I just saved them $2,700, which is something with cancer treatments they're going to hit. Okay, it's just going to happen. So for $7 more, doing the little bit of research really is going to make a huge difference with this insurer. Okay, um, so... Naturally, I recommended the gold plan. Okay. We got them enrolled. We got them set up. Insured is, is ready to go. But guys, ultimately, just don't choose plans on price. It is not a good thing. You've got to do a little bit of research to help them out to select the right plan. Now, you as an insured may be thinking, well, doesn't he have a pre-existing condition with cancer? Are they going to cover that? With these ACA Obamacare plans, you don't have to worry about pre-existing conditions. As soon as this plan starts, you're rocking. Now, we are December the 22nd today. Unfortunately for this insured, January 1 is not available. Okay, so uh, they missed the deadline. For, for February the 1st, we're going to be able to get them in. And uh, they were, you know, there was just no other choice. That was just the way they were going to roll. So we are rocking, we're good. And you're probably thinking, well, didn't they have pre-existing coverage? They were paying 800 and something dollars. Yeah, they were. But unfortunately, when she went on Medicare, um, for some reason, they let that plan go. Um, it was a short-term plan going on Medicare turning 65. They didn't let her on it. He could have stayed on it, but sometimes these insurers don't know what they're doing. They canceled it and uh, not a good thing, okay? So the point here is you've got to pay attention to your plans. You've got to know your plans. Sometimes silver is not the best way to go. Sometimes gold sometimes is a great way to go, okay? Now, if their income was low enough, I will tell you this. Let's say that their income was 35000 okay? Now... My gold plan probably isn't the better plan. Let, let me show you. Let's go back to the silver plan. And it was the specialist saver. There's my specialist saver right here. Okay, here's my specialist saver. 183 bucks, 3,300 with a 6,850. Okay, let's go to the gold plan now. Gold plan. Let's go to the gold and we're going to do this one. 147, a $2,000 deductible, but 6,500. Mm, you know, let's put them side by side because now I can't even remember. I'm a little brain fried. Specialist saver. Here we go. Put them side by side. Now we can compare. All right. So. Is that the, we've got the uh, let's see gold on this side, we've got the silver on this side. Well, look here, guys, in this scenario, 
The gold is cheaper. The gold has a lower out of pocket. It does have a higher specialist copay. Um, you know, I may probably even in this scenario recommend a gold. So again, there's 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 rules, but there's always exception to the rules. Um, let's just see if I were to lower the income, that would make a difference. Okay, lower the income. Now let's go to the compare again. Now we got gold here. Oh, look at now. The, the income is even lower. Now the gold does not make sense at all. Premium wise, it does. It's cheaper, but look what happens to the out of pocket. Okay, the out of pocket is huge. Uh, big difference between silver and gold. So you got to pay attention, guys, to the details. Study the plans, know what you're offering, and make those confident recommendations to your insurers. If you're an insured and you're watching this, this is why you need an agent. You need to realize that the price that you're going to pay for this is the same whether you use an agent or not. Okay, we've been doing this since Obamacare started in 2014. Okay, we are very experienced agents here in my office. So if you need help, guys, get a hold of us. We can help you. My information will be down below on the contact information. All right, guys, if you like what you saw, here's what I'd like for you to do. I've got some extra videos here for you to watch. And if you would, click here so that you can subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the little bell icon so you can get updates like these in the future.